<clears throat> this is not the typical rant. This is a informative rant, uh, and it's not biased to anybody. But I grew up with not a lot of guidance, and some people may be able to relate coming from the same type of community that I come from, but you know, people didn't really enlighten us, right? Like, you know, maybe you seen a man come to the house and you seen your grandma or somebody like writing him a check, but you didn't know it was the life insurance man. Or, um, you know, we didn't know that certain types of accounts, you know, do certain things, okay? But I'm saying all this to say that I have a pretty big family and um, I'm not the first, but I am one of the few through one generation who did not become a teenage mom. And so um, I kind of just like use that as my own personal way of um, setting an example for the younger women of my family to after me. So I said all that to say, because I did not have children at a young age, I was allotted a little bit of, a little bit of more time. Not a lot because I did become a mom at 23, but I did get a, just a tad bit more time to myself. And in that I was able to learn a few things and take advantage of some things. And so one of those things that I learned or one of the things that I learned was don't be bashful about like free things or don't be bashful if somebody's giving you a gift that you don't necessarily want. And I take that information and I use it with our social economics and our you know communism or capitalism right and so I shouldn't have said communism but I guess I should have said um like our 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 um class system so whatever either way it goes I said that to say, you know, people have their ideas or like their opinions about things like cryptocurrency or like stocks, money, um, metals, just anything of value that at some point could be used to get you something that you need. And I give my excuse me, my little cousins and my nieces and my nephew sometimes too, um, advice on things to do that no one just told, no one told me like, you know, um, so one thing that I tell them is make sure you put yourself on the list. Okay. Don't be bashful about things that are being given away or that are like rightfully yours. Okay. So like, for example, student loan forgiveness or a tax return or, um, you know, food stamps or, um, you know, some type of assistance, housing assistance, anything that uh, people don't usually want to take because they have this sense of I'm better than that or they have this sense of I don't need it. Um, but I just wanted to say that if one day money, like paper money, is no longer a value, you're going to wish that you had some crypto. And you don't have to buy a lot, but just get a little, just in case, you know, just 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 enough to buy you some time until you can figure something out if the banking system does shut down. Don't you don't want to be one of those people that just didn't do it because you felt like it was a scam or you thought that um, it had more to it than just what was apparent, you know. So things like stocks, I don't know a lot about stocks, but I bought some, you know, like, do I know much about dividends? Not necessarily, but 
I don't want to be one of those people that say, oh, because I didn't know, I didn't do it. You know, like, this life is about risking things. Whether you're risking for your salvation or you're risking for a home or you're risking for whatever it is that moves you. But don't not be on the list, y'all. That's all, that's all this was about. Put yourself on the list. If they're giving it away or if it's something that you may need, again, um, stocks, um, buying jewelry or having international currency, like don't be one of those people that say, oh, I'm not going to do that because that's not real. Like maybe it's not real, but you've wasted less money or more money on something that didn't serve you. Like these are things that are going to make or break whether or not your family eats at one point. So, um, and if you are like so gun hold on taking those risks and you do not want to um, put your money up like that to uh, see if you could get the reward from it, then you need to learn a vital skill because whether you guys are aware or not, like the world is at war and has been at war since man discovered power. So um, at some point, and, and, and warfare comes in a lot of different ways. It comes through food, biochemical, you know, um, violence. Like, it just comes like you wouldn't believe. So, um, I said all that to say, secure yourself. Even if you don't believe that it's going to happen, you know, like, just do it anyway. Do it anyway. And if you feel like you don't want to take those risks, then get a skill that is like irreplaceable like agriculture you know make sure that you could that somebody is going to need you okay like you got to get the skill whether it's and i know you know we don't we got a far away from this but like if you can't feed somebody clothe somebody or house somebody you ain't you you not useful so if you don't have the money, like if you're not going to buy the things to make sure that you and your family have what you need to pay the people that are housing, clothing, and um, what I say, housing, clothing, and feeding somebody, then you need the money, right? Because if you can't pay those people, if, if you you either going to be able to pay those people who are doing it or you need to be one of those people that are doing it. So if you don't want to put your money up, you better put your body up, put your time up because it's gonna it's only gonna get worse, y'all. It's literally only going to get worse. So I said all that to say, put yourself in position. Even even if it doesn't make sense, even if you think that it's a scam, even if you think that even if you feel like you don't need it, because you have like some generations will say, Well, I'm not buying no crypto because I already have real estate or I already have stock or I already have that. It don't matter. Buy it anyway. Take a hundred dollars. Get you some crypto. If you lose $100, you'll be okay. But at least you was prepared just in case. Um, That's it, y'all. I love y'all. Have a good day.